record, um, this is my video response for the AOW on May 12th, so here it goes. It's clearly fun and interesting to watch things blow up, whether it's on YouTube or it's in your science class, right? When you've seen some experiments being done, you yourself will want to go out and find all the supplies for their experiments ASAP and get your hands on it right away. But sometimes the things that are fun for us aren't always the best and the safest for us. I'm exactly describing the situation of a regular 16-year-old girl whose name is Kiera Wilmot, whose case became big news all around the world after an incident that she has created. Kiera is just like thousands of other curious students who have been encouraged by popular science experiments done by thousands of people on YouTube. Now, the experiment that has gone wrong was mixing the toilet bowl cleaner and aluminum foil together in a plastic bottle. It's clearly not something new enough for Kiara to be filed charges and probably go to jail for. It all happened behind the school cafeteria in the Bartlow High School and as soon as the t tamed explosion happened, her school contacted the police and Kiara was arrested. The results for Kira's charges isn't final yet, but if the criminal justice system makes a final decision, then Kira would have to be in jail for years. Kira's school has a zero tolerance policy, and from the information that was given, her school agrees that an in-school suspension just wouldn't be enough for her. So therefore, her school expelled Kira. The results for Kiera's charges isn't final yet, but if the criminal justice system makes a final decision, then Kiera would have to be in jail for years. Kiera's school has a zero tolerance policy, and from the information that was given, her school agrees that an in-school suspension just wouldn't be enough for her. So therefore, her school expelled Kiera. Since her school decides that an in-school suspension isn't enough for her, it leads people into thinking that the very reason why this is all happening is because Kiaris is black. Andrew David Thaler, deep sea biologist, says that without a doubt the story is about race as well as the egregious overreaction of the school administrators. This is a case of an intelligent, curious student performing a perfectly mundane act of independence inquiry and an inquiry that happens in an innumerable variations in schools throughout the country. Educators know how to respond to this inquisitive, even recklessly inquisitive student, and that response is never present. From the people's voice, Kiera's case isn't supposed to be guilty in the first place. Also, another quoted biologist, D.N. Lee, author at Scientific American, saying, I can't name a single scientist or engineer who had him blown up, rip apart, disassembled something at home or otherwise caused a big ruckus at school, all in the name of curiosity, myself included. Science is not clean, it is very messy, and it is riddled with mistakes and mishaps. Everyone around the world has spoken and all have stood up for Kiera, like encouraging everyone to post pictures and stories of their own explosions. A petition for the charges that is against Kiera will be dropped and the science is not a crime hashtag on social media. My saying in this is really the same as everybody else. There are so many wrong reasons why Kira shouldn't be charged the way she is charged, how her school expelled her, but most of all how she got arrested because she was curious about science. Kira is 16 year old, years old and yet she is charged as an adult of being 18 year old. If they want to arrest Kiara, then why won't they just arrest thousands of people who actually did it too and actually got the experiment on tape? For Kiara, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who is feeling unfair about this because we all know that for a fact she's not the only one who did this experiment. Yet she did it to try it out and people should even be glad that she is interested in science at least. I just hope that there are people who understand Kiara's case and can really help her out of this mess so her charges will be dropped and she is free as she's supposed to be.